Why am I telling you this? Because we're rich. This is confession time. I am making, we are making, our family is making more money than I ever expected in my life to be entrusted with. Truly. Truly. Grew up as a son of a meat cutter, did not have a lot of resources, had enough, but I never thought that I would have a house, I would have two cars, I would have clothes, I would have capacity for holidays, I would have food, I would have extras, I would have 22 church shirts. I never thought... I never thought, but I will no longer say rich is someone else. I'm standing before you and I'm raising my hand and I am saying, Mike Peninga is rich. And so are you. And so is everybody who's watched this. The fact that you're watching this online on some kind of a device. The fact that in five days you can make enough to survive seven days. You know, most of the world can't do that. And now we want shorter work weeks and shorter hours and fewer work and this kind of stuff. We have first world problems. Oh, my second car is in the shop. Really? I feel terrible for you. Yeah, you know, my, my, the, the, the taxes on my, on my place at Big White have gone way up. Oh my, that's, let's pray about that. Maybe the Lord would have you give that away so you didn't have to worry about your taxes on that side of things. So I wonder, if we are rich, have you ever thought, why don't we want to admit that we're rich? I know. Because if we're rich, we're responsible. If we always say someone else is rich, then the Bible's written as somebody else. But if we say we are rich, and I'm saying I am rich, then I'm responsible for something that I should do with what I have. So... So how should we be rich? This is the question of the morning. I'm not saying how should we get rich because we're already there. But, but how should we be in the rich world that we are? 